Well, at first it looked like a joke. Was somebody messing around with the signs at the Luke Oil service stations? No. The owners were offering gasoline for more than $8 a gallon. It was no joke. It was a protest. And joining us now from our studio in Trenton, the executive director of the New Jersey Gasoline Convenience Store and Automotive Association, Sal Rizzolvato. Uh, good of you to join us. Uh, first of all, is this over or will this, will this continue or come on back, this, this protest? Uh, well, the segment from yesterday is over. Will it come back? I can't say for sure. I'm hoping that uh, Luke Oil hears what it is, uh, the message that we had to send yesterday, and that, in fact, uh, we won't have to do it again. However, I will tell you, before the day was over, uh, more than a few of the dealers said that they would be willing to do it again, or anxious to do it again, they're angry about the reason they have to do it. And that reason, uh, Sal, is that the reason is they have to pay Luke Oil more to get their fuel? Well, let me give you a little bit of, of history here. Uh, about seven years ago, uh, Luke Oil uh, was born in New Jersey. And the brand was born out of uh, the Mobile brand because Mobile and Exxon merged. And from the time that they took over from Mobile, uh, the dealers have experienced an uncompetitive price, an image that really is not reflected well out at the curb, and they've seen a serious decline in their business. And they're pretty angry, not just for themselves, but for their customers, who over these past years have had to endure paying a higher price because Luke Oil's wholesale price to its dealers is consistently higher than other branded locations. How much higher, Sal? Well, uh, today, today their rack price, and that is the wholesale price uh, with which, uh, uh, where the trucks actually fill up. Today it was four cents, yesterday it was seven cents, uh, but it is consistently higher. So tell me, but because the, the economics of this, tell, Sal, tell me, what does that mean to a, over the course of a year to a dealer? That, that seemingly small difference to the outsider looking in, what does that difference mean to the dealer over the course of a year? Well, I, I only gave you the difference at the rack, their wholesale price. Uh, however, uh, the price that they charge their dealers is called the dealer tank wagon price. And that is considerably higher than that. In, in many instances, it is 10 or 15 cents a gallon higher. But the big problem comes in when Luke Oil selects dealers, discriminates against certain dealers, and actually charges some of its dealers as much as 20 or 25 cents a gallon more than it charges the lowest priced dealer that is already higher than other brands. And why do they do and that? What it do uh, well, this is what I have said to the press yesterday, because you are probably the 100th person that has asked me that. And here's my response. If you find out the answer to that question, I would greatly appreciate if you would share it with me. So it's, it's a mystery, essentially. Now, Luke Oil is a Russian-owned company. Is there, uh, what are we talking about here? Is there a cultural difference that prevents them from doing business the way it's usually been done here? Is there, is there a new business model at work here? What is it that prevents these dealers from being able to effectively communicate and, and, and come to some understanding? I can't say it's because it's a Russian-owned company. That would be unfair. I can't say there's a cultural difference. That is unknown to me. I can't say what the business model is. I can only tell you, and it's, this is not recent, I can only tell you that uh, the actual total volume of Luke Oil in the region from the time that these locations were changed from mobile to Luke Oil, uh, the volume has been cut in half and actually more than that. So just take, for instance, the location that we uh, held the press conference at yesterday. At one time, when that location was a mobile location, that dealer, that franchise small business owner, pumped about 500,000 gallons a month, which is unusually high. However, today, six years later, he pumps about 70,000 gallons a month. And this is a man who purchased the franchise, who started out in this location as a, as a gas pumper, worked for the, the owner, 
worked his way up the ladder and eventually bought the business and invested in the business. And today, that's how much of a decline his business has seen. Sal. And just think of the customers that have had to pay a higher price. One last question, and briefly if you can. What are these people going to do about it? Are, are these business people who could conceivably lose their businesses as a result of, of these differences and these, these pricing problems? Well, they've already started to lose their business. There, uh, is, uh, there are over 30 locations in the past year that have actually given up their franchises, forfeited their investments, and turned their keys back into Luke Oil. And there are a significant number of others that participated in this protest that are ready to do so very soon. One dealer that participated in the protest contacted me Tuesday morning, and he said, Sal, I'm doing this. He says, but you need to know by the end of the month, I'm turning in my keys regardless of what they do. I don't have any more money to put back in my business, and I have to turn in my keys. So that is a reality. So the answer to your question is they will close and they will turn in their keys and lose their investments. Sal Rizzolvato, have to leave it there, sir. Thank you for coming on. You're welcome.